Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, here we go. Got some cadmium yellow, titanium white, cerulean blue, sap green, um, a kind of a brown black, a bit like a Van Dyke brown, but blacker. <laughs> Burnt sienna, raw sienna, and a little bit of uh, vermilion red. And uh, I've got a really dull picture that I'm going to uh, turn into a bright picture. <laughs> I got a really awful photo. It's from my old phone, uh, like from ages ago, like years. Probably about 10 years. Wait, it's got the date on it. Uh, no, it is in fact 12 years old, this photo, and it's really bad. But sometimes I do that. I just grab a really old photo off my phone that I thought was good at the time. But then I'll, uh, I'll just use the idea, like the composition or something. And uh, then the painting should, if it all works out, look way better than the uh, than what I got as a picture. So I'm using some. Cerulean blue and white, just cerulean blue and white, and get this a uh, bit of a blue sky going. It's only in, uh, in areas, and there's a lot of cloud, so I'll get this blue in first, and uh, I'm going to add a person in it as well because it it was just a a sort of a bland scene. You see what I was looking for. <laughs> back then is I wanted a uh, a picture of some water on a path and uh, and I was like oh there's some water on a path I'll uh, I'll, I'll, I'll use that <laughs> so I've just grabbed a bit of the uh, brown black into my sky color I realized I did it too dark so that's, that's a better colour. Maybe get a tiny bit of viridian, vermilion, I should say, in it. A bit more white, I think that's too dark. There we go. So the original sky <laughs> was very bland and grey, so changed it. I'm, if you notice I'm doing my sky I tend to use these little C's, C's like that, little, little strokes like that. I do see that in the sky as well. When I was looking earlier I took a picture of the sky it was really really dark and, um, and there was like areas like this that I'm painting now in the sky. I like using uh, what I see as well as when you take a picture using that as well. You should use everything. <laughs> use it all. Use nature, use your imagination. I'm not fussed about the uh, paper showing through on this one because sometimes it works nice. dark in this Get that sky in there lovely I like it and then getting a little bit of white go to this where the uh, horizon is white and blue and grey squeaking a bit I'll have to move it <laughs> there we go I'm going to use some of this light now in the sky put 
Bring that up to that blue. Brilliant. Very good, very good. To be careful, I don't want to go too bright. Use my finger just to smudge it a bit. And then I can pick out areas I wanted to be a bit lighter. So I'm imagining light coming from uh, this side. It's sort of breaking this up a bit. I like being quite loose with my brushes my stroke sometimes you know when you kind of just don't think too much and just go for it and see what happens I quite like that sometimes I think acrylics though they are quite forgiving aren't they you can uh, just paint over what you've uh, messed up. <laughs> Which is a good thing. So you can pick out areas that you want duller. Give your clouds something. And you could do yours different to mine. leave that actually as it is for now anyway we'll carry on with the painting and then if we can if we think we need to do more we'll we can do that no problem so I'm gonna get some bit of green in with our gray maybe a bit of red and some white make myself a bit of a colour for the background something like that, maybe a bit darker so we've got a, a, a background area of trees this is based on an area that I would always uh, well not always, where I used to walk with my dog Walk the dog. Yeah, I think I remember where it is now. <laughs> I was just thinking, where where actually is it? <laughs> it was under a bridge, and I walk, I walked down there, and. Uh, And I thought, oh, I might get some interesting scenes. And I, I thought, oh, well, this will do. And of course, back when I took the picture, I couldn't paint well enough. <laughs> I just couldn't do it. Couldn't do what I wanted anyway. I'd have ideas of what I wanted to paint and... When I got to it, I just couldn't do it. <laughs> but the desire was there. The desire to do good paintings and to enjoy myself. Well, actually, the desire is to enjoy myself, number one, and to paint and enjoy the painting process and attempt to do paintings that I like. <laughs> so I've thrown in a little bit of uh, red and sienna then. 
I didn't remember to show you. So all I did is go grab some sienna, grab some vermilion red, and then uh, just warms it up a bit, and then you can put some in here and there, and it changes the flavour a little bit in the background. And then I want to start because we've got some trees that go up here, like that sort of angle, like that. You can draw that in if you want. So trees like this, and this comes out like this. So everything is on that area, like this, 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 this. <laughs> this is what I do when I'm painting. I just go like that, I'm looking for that mean vanishing point. And you can just draw it in. I'm, I was very loose, I know. Some people get the ruler out and make it exact, and there's nothing wrong with doing that if that's what you like doing. I like to just get it done quick, like I just did there. Just throw it on. There we go. It's mark, make. I want to get all the, the base of all the trees in already. <laughs> Get that darker colour, throw that in there. Just a little bit more green and brown and throw it in. Got grass going all the way along there. And then, got a bit of green. Just grab a bit of green on my dirty brush. I can put some green in places as well. Along here. Gotta put a person in this as well, walking. <laughs> Thought that would be good to do something like that. So I'm throwing in some of this brown black in with the green, a little bit of the sienna, a bit of the red. You see how the green is changing, it's dulled, and that's what I want, a dulled green, rather than a bright, strong green, a nice dull green to start with. So I want everything to be nice and dull to start with. So you start with the dull, and then we can uh, add light afterwards, that's, that's what I do. That's what I like doing anyway. We can block all this in to start with. Maybe get a little bit of blue in there as well. I just threw that in. A little bit of reflected uh, sky on this field. Some uh, bit more sienna in this bit here. But that, more that raw sienna in here. Okay, just move my camera a little bit. Okay, a bit more of this green. Chucked in some more of that raw sienna in there. Take that all the way up to there. This is just like my base colour for all this, really. Sort of blocking in. Now I'm going to get a bit of burnt sienna, 
We don't see any in this brown black. We get a nice browny colour. Whoops, I just blobbed into green then. Didn't mean to do that. Doesn't matter too much, but. So I want to get a bit more of this sort of dirty area there. Soily, soily sort of look. And along here as well. Path. It's quite a few tracks actually there. Different tractors and stuff, I guess. Yeah, keeping it quite um, dull still. See, I'll, I like to keep it quite dull, and then we can add add light, add light. A bit of this raw sienna in this as well. So I don't want the colours to all be the same, you see. I like, like to uh, change things a bit. And also, what I wanted. What I might do is dry this off now, and then we'll carry on. It's, uh, it's coming on. It's coming on. Okay, so I'll just give that a dry with a hair dryer. It's a little bit shiny. <laughs> Now what I might do is use a different brush, use a uh, sort of a brush with a bit of a more of a rounded end. This is a uh, Cotman number 668. <laughs> it works quite well. I quite like it. And uh, what I'm going to do, mix a bit of a colour and uh, a few leaves on these trees. But it was uh, a bit autumn y when I took this picture, so might as well stick to those colours really. I need to go a little bit brighter. I'm holding on a little bit to my lights. Not going, there's a bit more red in that now. Not gonna go too bright too soon, you see. I'm holding on. <laughs> Let's go a little bit brighter. Get some, uh, get some cad yellow, a bit of this raw sienna, a bit of the red. See, this is the difference I can make to the photo. <laughs> I can put some zingers in um, where the photo was very really dull. I can brighten it up like this. Picking out areas that I want brighter than others. Same brush. I want to go really dark. It's got some really dark colour. Hmm. 
<laughs> That's actually how it looks. It goes really dark like that at the bottom. And then it's got a light area again, but this time uh, the light is on the the grass. It sort of goes blah, 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 blah. Like that. A little bit lighter on the top. Like this. Something like this. And also, we need a bit of blue. It's sort of a greyish blue, but there is a little bit of water in the, uh, in there. Bit of that sky color in it. Some of it's more of a gray. And a blue, sort of a dirty colour. Like There, now I want a bit of light on the the soil. A bit of brownie, brownie, brownie whitey <laughs> colour. Sort of a sienna -y light. Don't want it to be too light, but I don't need it to be a bit lighter than. Yeah, that's probably about right. Put some uh, colour in the in the ground. It's sort of got marks on it. Like that. And I want to go a bit darker here. I suppose it's like the tracks, track to tracks. You can sort of see these sort of marks like this. Little details. Okay, and then a little lighter up here. Bit lighter there. Ch -ch 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 -ch. there. Lighten these bits up a bit. I like them as well. Some of it's got a bit of a yellowish tint to it. I'm going to see the sun's getting a bit of a yellowish tint here and there. Warm it up a bit. And 
now I want to indicate where so we've got um, <laughs> fake trees <laughs> so imagine we've got a tree here but it's casting a shadow all along there and I'm thinking like there so that's going to be a bit darker there but we need to lighten the other areas so a little bit of sienna a little bit of the cad yellow the cadmium yellow it sort of turns the light on almost with this color a bit of this sienna to change it as well you see how that sort of turns the light on in the color amazing So I've got to think about this sort of got to do lots of little different shapes. There's stuff growing in there, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> no idea. No idea. So I'll just go blah 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 blah. Different angled brush strokes. Get the indication of stuff. Just get that illusion though, that there's light here, but not here. So there'll be light. Tiny bit of red in it as well, for along here. So we go there. Stuff growing here and there. Tap it in. Go along there. It won't reach up there. Sort of there, I think. And we can uh, do some marks there. And we got another tree sort of shape here. I'll break it off there. And then another one. There, so we've got this angle. Yeah, hopefully that gives you the impression I'm just tapping in some color it's got a little bit yellower a little bit more yellow really uh, get things going on here some colour in, go for some more solid kind of colour there, it's quite far off.
Yeah, there we go. So we've got the fake trees, the shadows of the fake trees. I need to put a little bit of uh, colour in that um, area. A bit more of a different greeny colour. Is that okay? No, that's too light. Just another. Dark. Too dark, maybe now. Just want to get some different shapes in there. Get a bit of blue. You can see it a little bit better like that. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to uh, get the camera to pick it up as clear as you want it to be. But I want the uh, bluey bits. I think once it's dried, you'll be able to see it a bit better. I'm just throwing in shapes. Different angle brush strokes. Different colours. Yellows. That's nice. See, what if I haven't. If I hadn't painted outside before, I would never have done that, that sort of line there. <laughs> but I've seen it. <laughs> so I've got no problem doing stuff like that. But it's some things I think about, I'm like, I'd never have done that when I first started painting. But because I've done plain air painting, you, you see things that you don't see in photos and things. I suppose it's the that you concentrate in so much. You realise there's uh, more. You just see more. All right, let's get a bit more light on this in places because it's a bit dull. And the uh, more colour. That's better. I'm gonna get that shape there and then uh brownie colour. Nice light though, nice light colour. Can have a little bit more light in that water I think. And there. Uh, keep it dull in that area. 
think that works quite well. Can always add a bit of a bluey sort of green here. A bit more of it anyway. A bit more of this. Get that blue colour in there. Bit of reflected light. Okay, something I noticed as well, when, uh, it's funny actually, when I was driving home, there was a big shadow on the road, I noticed a big gap in the shadow and it went bloop like that, <laughs> right in the tree, big gap, so I'll do that, might as well have that on there as well. Mm -hmm. Hmm, enjoyed that. Enjoyed painting that. Now I need to dry it again because I've not finished. I need to put some body in it. And also, I might change some of this colour here to be a bit lighter there. Just for one of the one of the trees just to get a bit more difference differences I'm, pull, I'm pulling the season back a little bit <laughs> give it a little bit more of that greenery it's not quite autumn there we go Go. I need um, some really light lines in amongst this. Something like that. That works. Some really light lights, not quite sienna -y enough. Like a raw sienna light there. Mm. Bit more of the yellow in it. that I think we're there for that that looks quite nice definitely looks like a uh, area you'd go for a walk doesn't it I definitely would I like walking down uh, these sort of places they're interesting <laughs> although nice to walk somewhere where there's a big waterfall or something as well wouldn't it <laughs> right so what I'm gonna do next well actually thinking about it needs a bit more grass in the middle there there we go right I'm gonna dry this and then I'm gonna put a person in it that's what I want to do. I want to add someone in there to make it a bit more interesting. Okay, so I grabbed a bit of uh, burnt sienna and a bit of red. And I'm just, might put a bit dark in it as well. 
That'll do. So I'm gonna start my character, which I'm gonna walk in along. I think he's gonna walk along this bit of grass here. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, it's one of them bravery tests. I think he's there. Let's just use that as that paint to paint the whole thing, maybe. Oops, got some really dark, dark now. Oh, uh, never mind. We can walk. There's boots and the grass. There's trousers. That leg is more bent. This boot there. It's coat. This could be me. It was me walking. <laughs> Who knows? It could be anyone. Just a just a figure. I, I'd like to be walking in this painting, so I think it'll be me. <laughs> and you can paint yourself in your painting. I'm uh, walking away. Walking away. In my brownie coloured coat. I don't know if you can see that really. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put some light on it. Grab a little the uh, grabbing cad yellow, burnt sienna, and white. You can see this. It's very small, but Getting some light on it. So raw sienna on that jacket there. there. Sort of colours, bit of white, bit of red, kind of like a pinkish, maybe a bit of a raw sienna, white and red. And we're going to do the uh, on the side of the face. If I can catch it. Ooh. And uh, the hand, the other hand there. I think the legs are a bit short. Well, that's pretty easy to rectify because we've got the leg and the boot can go down to there. And that knee can. And then the boot there. Can add a little bit of blue on the on the boot. I kind of need a little bit of light. Because his legs are a little bit disappearing, I'm gonna put a bit of blue on them. Just 
I look a bit more like jeans. Just an indication of somebody. Just I I like adding a little, a bit of dark hair. Maybe dark colours. Add a bit of dark in his jacket and bring those boots down a bit. I think we've got it now. And you can put as much detail in your character as you want. It's, uh, it's pretty good. I'm happy with that actually. Get a little bit of the that grassy stuff. Might just brighten him up a tiny bit more. On that one side. There, he's there. There is a guy there. Honest. And then I might put in a bit of a shadow as well for him. Because that shadow's going that way, that way. He would be about there, I think. It look a bit better. Yeah, that's not too bad actually. That's better than it I thought it was going to look actually. <laughs> I'll take that. I'm thinking as well. Just an idea, maybe there's someone else back there, but really small. Sort of, sort of a greyish colour back there. Somebody else. So you can get that angle. We can... Uh, a bit of hair. I'm not going to put too much detail with that one because it's quite far off. Oh, the ice cream van has just appeared. Wow. It's been a while since an ice cream van has interrupted my painting. <laughs> That used to always happen. I'm just going to put in a few little more things over here. A few shapes. Dots and stuff. Something else I want to do actually. Couple little birdies. Little bird there. Maybe another one here. Maybe one stood in there. Yeah. 
I think I will call that one finished. A bit more colour there. straight enough. There, that's what I wanted. And there. I feel like his leg could come to there. Make him look like he's really walking at us. <laughs> his boot there. Looking at it, um, need a bit more of that dark that goes there. That jacket now needs to come down a bit to there. I think I'll leave it there. He's coming forwards anyway. <laughs> Something not right. It might be because he's needs a bit of yellow. It goes up there. Separate the legs. Yeah. And then a bit of blue there. Yeah, that's a bit better. I always find it tricky when you're painting small. It is a lot harder. If I painted somebody bigger, it's a lot easier. So uh, sometimes it's better to uh, try and work out your composition to have a bigger person in it than a small one. But I really did want a smallish one in this one. I might be trying a little bit too hard to get this to look right, but because he's only a small bloke, <laughs> but I'll do. I think quite happy with that actually. So I'll say uh, thanks very much for watching this episode. Walking out and about. Here we are in. In walking in the fields <laughs> so thanks very much for watching and i'll see you at another one cheers bye